Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Miss Elia Adhanar Sono I'm from English Literature A2 2018 I'm going to do a review of the Edwardian era The Edwardian age is an era of international peace, internal security, and relative prosperity It was a period assert in by the conclusion of the South African War in 1902 and by the consolidation of Britain's imperial possessions The sum It seemed to have symbolically closed, not with the end of the king's reign, but with the death of Captain Scott and his party in the Antarctic in March 1912. And a month later, with the terrible loss of life as the unsinkable Titanic sank in the North Atlantic. The era was marked by significant shifts in politics as sections of society that had been largely excluded from wielding power in the past, such as common laborers and women, became increasingly politicized. The golden age of King Edward's reign was not always an illusion, but it was certainly a, real- a reality only for the relatively privileged. In some significant ways, the early years of the 20th century were marked by a triumphant Englishness, or at the very least, by the confident swagger and independence of English architecture and English music. music. It was the edge of uh, the English house and of a supremely shop- sophisticated domestic style most readily associated with the name of Edwin Lutyens. It was also the edge of the garden city and of exper- experiments with urban, suburban, and rural planning which have profoundly affected both how the English look at themselves and how foreigners look at the English. Modernism was the period in British literature which came immediately after realism. The literature became became sophisticated, somber, and conscious of social abuse and rivalry. The literature of this time is known for its use of philosophy, reason, skepticism, wit, and refinement. Edwardian writers are mostly concerned with the implication of living in a new and more scientific and inventive world with rapid developing technology and changing values. The well-known authors for this era is Joseph Conrad, Arnold Bennett, H.G. Wells, Beatrix Potter, George Bernard Shaw. We have reached the end of the presentation, that's all from me, thank you very much.